Just steady, just like this. Right on the snow. Perfect. Oh my gosh. And like, oh, I should have done that. No. <laughs> Anyhow. So yeah, how does going on a hike to capture some wintry drone shots end in me wading through knee deep snow for half a kilometer to recover my drone? Well, stick around and I will share my story and a few tips on how you can avoid the same mistake. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. If you fly a DJI drone, you have probably heard that familiar message dozens of times. It's your audible reminder that your drone picked up a strong enough GPS signal to automatically set the home point. Once that home point is set, it does not fluctuate for the duration of the flight. That is, of course, unless you change it, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So back to my story. I take my drone on hikes in the mountains all the time. And typically when I do that, I get to my first location, I put the drone up, I start shooting, and then I leave the drone in the air as I continue to hike. As I move around, I move the drone with me, so it is usually not very far away from my position. The reason I do that is because I find it is just much more efficient to leave the drone in the air than constantly landing it, packing it up, unpacking it, and launching. I mean, you get the idea. So anyhow, on this particular day, I was gathering footage for a drone video. I had already exhausted one battery over the first part of our hike, and as we reached the turnaround point, my current battery was about 40%. So I grabbed a few more shots and when my battery hit 22%, I hit return to home to bring it back. Now normally I wouldn't use return to home, but on this day I thought it's a bit chilly out, the battery's getting low, and I just want my drone back quickly and directly. I'm watching my screen, the distance is dropping, and as it gets closer, I start to listen for the approach. The distance trickles down to maybe, I don't know, a few meters, and guess what? No drone, no sight, no sound. I call to my wife if she has eyes or ears on it, and no, it's not there. So for a brief moment, I'm like, uh, what's happening here? And then I realized, yeah, dumb rookie mistake. I didn't update my home point, and my Mini 2 went all the way back to where I first launched it, which was probably about half a kilometer away from my current position. Now, let me pause the story here, and I'll quickly show you how easy it is to update your home point. While in flight, you can update it by going into settings, tap on safety and select update home point. This will bring up a map of your current location and you have three options for home point. Touch the remote icon to select your current location, which is the location of the remote. Touch on the aircraft icon to choose the drone's current location, or you can just drag the map around to select any spot you want. Once you're happy with your selection, just touch OK and the home point will be updated. Super simple. Now the great thing about this is you can update your home point as many times as you want while the drone is in flight. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. If you change your mind or change your location, it's easy to update. Also, one thing I find kind of interesting is you can even update the home point while your drone is in the middle of a return to home. So if your drone's coming home and you realize, uh oh, it's going to the wrong place, no problem, just update it. Now, my only real complaint here is I don't think it should be buried in the menus. It should be more prominent. Perhaps it belongs in the system status bar because that's where you go to set the auto return to home altitude and just seeing the option there to update the home point may trigger you to check it before pushing the button. Anyhow, back to the story. At this point, my drone is probably half a kilometer away, battery's running low, so I decide to fly back to my current location. 50 meters into that decision, I'm like, no, no way. It's too far and I'm worried about battery and if I have to ditch my drone in the middle of all these trees and snow, I'm never gonna find it. So I hit return to home again to send it back to the original location, a known location, and I start looking for a place to land. Now, on our way up, right near where I launched the drone, I remember crossing a wide open area. It's a gas line utility right away, so it's wide, no trees, no overhead obstructions. It's a perfect landing spot. But let me tell you, when you're in a hurry, in the mountains, trees and snow everywhere, everything looks the same. Luckily enough though, I was able to find the spot, but now the drone is in a low battery forced landing situation. If you don't know what this is, basically this is your drone's self-preservation system. The drone knows it has very little battery life left, so it just wants to get to the ground rather than falling dead out of the sky. And you have very little say in the matter. It is going to land. 6%. Gonna wanna land pretty soon. Which brings me to my next tip. 
if you find yourself in this situation, just remember you can still control the drone. If your altitude is low enough, you still may be able to keep it from landing, but eventually it will land. More importantly though, you can still pilot it. And for me, that was critical because I needed to steer around trees and line it up with my landing spot. Okay, so everything's looking good, but maybe 10 meters from the ground, my phone screen goes black and I lose connection with the drone. So that's it. I hike back to the launch spot. I can't use find my drone because I can't establish a connection, but that's okay because I generally know where it is. Anyhow, you kind of already know how this ends. I trudge through the snow, I see this small anomaly in the distance, and as I get closer, I can see it's my Mini 2. It's sitting on top of the snow like someone had placed it there. Perfect landing, not a scratch on it. If you've ever been in the same situation, you probably know that it is a very, very happy moment when you find your drone. So moral of the story, when you launch your drone, your home point gets set. If you move, your home point does not move with you. If you hike, bike, run, walk, or even take your drone fishing, just remember if you move from your launch position and you find yourself in a return to home situation, update your home point. And remember, you can update it on the fly at any time, even while the drone is in the middle of a return to home. That's good stuff to know. And that's it for this one, guys. I hope you learned at least one new thing from this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And yeah, you guessed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.